When I was committee chair for the Member Association of North America on behalf of INSOL, one of the things that we looked at because of the attrition that we were experiencing in the states with our somewhat declining membership is a way to, for free and regionally, get more people to, to hear about INSOL and to become involved in the organization. And I want to host a similar type structure in other jurisdictions so for example, you've heard the, the hot news that we're about to open an Asia hub. And part of the reason for having a geographic footprint so far from our original footprint in the UK is to give us an opportunity to have boots on the ground to provide for more local resourcing of getting out into the community at younger ages and spreading the word about the organization itself and what we can bring to the membership. One of the things that we're going to look at doing as part of the opening of the Asia office is to host regional receptions where we bring in either younger practitioners or even at the law school or training phases when people are still determining what they want to do with their career is having INSOL representatives who are traveling through this region come and speak to those individuals to get them thinking about this concept of global insolvency. And granted, it's changed a little bit from when I went to law school in the sense that we didn't have any classes on international restructuring, international insolvency. Those were not even really buzzwords at the time. Um, so we, we all really just developed this on the fly as part of our careers. But now what we're seeing as part of our initiatives and the initiatives of the World Bank and UNCITRAL and others is that students are learning about this profession at a younger age, and what we want to do is get them excited about it at a younger age. And so, for example, next year when we host our conference in Cape Town in 2020, what we're looking at doing there is bringing in three or four of the practitioners who will be at the conference anyway to talk about their experiences similar to what you and I are doing today of how we got into this profession why it's so rewarding for those of us who've been in it as long as I have and, and for others who've been in it longer, there's a reason we stay, right? It's fun, it's exciting, it's a lot of hard work, but we must really enjoy it. And so we wanna spread that message at a much younger age.